American flag is a sacred banner that represents those who fought and died for our country. Parker Boyd joined military students for a ceremony today on how to properly retire a front flag. The fire in this pit burns waiting to dispose this ragged American flag. It's part of a flag retirement ceremony where junior ROTC cadets from several high schools gathered to properly do away with the old flag. I see flag burning ceremonies as um, a way to show respect for uh, the nation. One of those young cadets is Charles Ebers. He hopes to serve in a federal service academy and says he's wanted to serve his country since he was very young. I have a, a long family history of uh, serving in the military and the merchant marines. Um, and it's also, it builds a lot of character and you get to do something good for people. During the ceremony, cadets highlighted the history of the flag by cutting and burning its stripes, which symbolized the 13 colonies. Congress amended the flag code in 1976. This code says flags are a living entity that have the right to exist and expire with dignity. The purpose here today is to teach a lesson, to remind students of the sacrifices their forefathers made to defend their flag and their homeland. The importance is for the young students to understand our history, the patriotism, what everything stands for, why, we, why we're actually here anymore, you know, the, what they fought for, what all of our veterans have fought for, for us to have the freedom in order to have something like this. For Ebers, it's a lesson that will inspire him to make sacrifices for the betterment of his country. It's almost uh, reassuring if you're going into the military knowing that all of these people care enough to do all of this for their country. For cadets, it's a banner that represents the blood that was shed to make a way for you and me. In Gulfport, Parker Boyd, WLOX News Now.